I have another item from the Fire Maple Antarctic line of bushcraft pots and pans. This time it is their 1.2 liter pot. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this item, keep watching. So before anybody cries foul, you're right, this has not been in a fire yet. That doesn't mean it hasn't seen a considerable amount of use, and I'll explain in a moment. Before I do, I just want to thank Fire Maple for sending me this pot, along with all the other items in their Antarctic line of bushcraft pots and pans, so that I could share them with you. So what did I mean? This has seen quite a bit of use, but hasn't been in the fire. Well, I took this away with uh, Gina and I when we went car camping to Kujbaquak National Park, and this was the pot that we used for the entire time we were there over a propane stove. That's why it's so clean. So it has seen considerable use. I'm able to form some opinions of it. And that nice shiny finish on that, it's not going to last much longer. In fact, today I'm going to be cooking a meal over a wood stove in this pot. And that will be trail chili. So that'll come out in another video. If you're interested, watch for that. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit on this pot. I'll give you some specifications for it. I'll give you its key features. And I'll give you my thoughts on it. All right, quickly I'll go over the specifications for the 1.2 liter pot. So to begin with, it is made from 6 gauge 18.8 stainless steel. The weight is 14.2 ounces or 402 grams. The diameter is 6.5 inches by 4.65 inches in height, which is 165 millimeters across by 118 millimeters high. The rated capacity by Fire Maple for this is 40.5 ounces or 1.2 liters. Now, uh, I think it can probably hold more, but I'll measure 1.2 liters in this and I'll show you where it come up to and then I'll let you decide if you want to put more inside of it. So some of the key features of this is number one, it has a locking handle and locks in two ways. Locks closed with this little clip. This is reminiscent of what they do with their uh, stove, the a canister gas stove systems that they have this to hold the handle down and to take it off you just give it a little push and that unlocks it when you open the handle up it locks down into place and then you can keep it from unlocking or collapsing on you by sliding that bar forward you can see that it has a domed lid and i'll make a few comments on the domed lid in a, in a minute and a d-ring which is quite stiff and stands up quite nicely. It won't fold down all the way in the other direction, intentionally designed that way, so you don't have to worry about it going flat on you and not being able to uh, get it up to uh, lift it off at the top. The lid rests inside on a rim inside of the pot. Let me show you that now. So there is this rim right around here. And when I measured the 1.2 liters, it was at least a half an inch below that rim, which meant it was close to a full inch below the very top of the pot. Certainly 1.2 liters is a great functional safe capacity for this pot. But if you wanted to, you could get a little bit more in it. In fact, I'm gonna have this very full by the time I finish cooking my lunch in it. So there's a couple other features about, about the pot as well that I want to share with you. One of the things, and I've mentioned this when I first introduced these, is the angle on the bottom. So it's chamfered, uh, angled, not necessarily round. So it's rounded, but it's more of a chamfer. And why I like that is it means it's easy to get into the corners to scoop out any materials inside of this or wash it out later. So that's a nice feature on this pot. Uh, let's just take a look at the lid for a second. Then I have one really cool thing to show you. So the lid itself, you don't see a lot of pots with domed lids like this. And when I looked at it, the first thing that came to mind along with the pot itself is that I could probably bake inside of this because that gave me some extra height. So it has some clearance for a spacer in the bottom, whatever it is I wanted to bake, and then some extra clearance on top so it's not too cramped. So I haven't tried baking in this yet. I likely will at some point. But uh, yeah, I think that's one good reason for having that domed lid. The other thing is, I think it makes a nice shallow bowl or a plate. So if you forgot to bring your plates or your bowls, you could probably use this to eat off. Or if you had to have uh, uh, something for an extra person that came with you, again, I think it would work for doing that with. Now, there is one more really key feature to this pot that I think will stand out to most people. This is, dropping leaves inside, this is my kettle. This is the Fire Maple kettle that I previously re reviewed and did a giveaway on. I will show it because it's inside of the, the bag. But what I want to show you about this, and it works, put it back inside the bag and you'll see. 
Draw the drawstring close on. Oh, by the way, this pot, the uh, 1.2 liter, does come with its own little stuff sack as well. But the 1.2 liter pot was designed specifically to have the kettle nest inside perfectly. The lid closed on top. The handle will fo uh, unlock it, of course. The handle will fold over, lock up, and I left the string hanging out by mistake. But you can see it fits in there perfectly with very little movement inside. So it's nice that you can bring with you your cooking pot and your tea kettle or coffee kettle with you all in one compact unit. All right, a few closing thoughts on the Fire Maple 1.2 liter stainless steel kettle in their Antarctic line of bushcraft pots and pans. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention of it, and this is Gina's observ observation as well as mine, and that is the actual shape of the pot itself. Now, I did mention that it has that chamfer in the bottom, which makes it easy to clean out, but I found with cooking with this that it has pretty much an ideal height to diameter ratio. So I have some other pots by some well-known manufacturers, a similar idea with a fold over locking handle. I like them, don't get me wrong, but the thing is, is that they tend to be a little wider than they are tall. And while you can make that work, to have something that strikes the proper balance between uh, height and width or diameter is uh, really helpful when cooking. So that's what this does. As you'll see when I cook the chili, if you watch that other video, it's pretty much going to fill this pot. But this makes for a good size, good shape pot for doing exactly that. Soups, stews, chilies like I'm going to cook. Yeah, I think this is a good shape pot and a good pot for doing exactly that. So take a last look at this shiny pot because this is the last time it'll have uh, unblemished surface shall we say. Okay, so it was just intended to be a short video describing the Fire Maple 1.2 liter pot, the reasons why I like it, and now it's going to get dirty over a fire. So I will be leaving the links where you can find out more about these pots and purchase them if you like. They'll be in the video description below. And uh, yeah, watch for the next video on cooking chili out here in the woods. And But until then, Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.